of course this is wokeness going on rampage you know wokeness has really gotten into video gaming as well so featuring you know african americans who are not even uh, or, or basically dark skinned people you know people of african descent who are not the top in the sports making them the poster boys of the sports you know it's all about non-whites this guy you know the african-american or person of african descent whoever this guy is you know i'm guessing he's not an african-american but you know basically of african des descent whatever country he's affiliated with make him the poster boy and then putting a you know female soccer you know featuring female stars you know how does this make sense this is fifa 23 but this is what is happening you know you, you see ea sports you know and a lot of this um other companies you know nba games now future wnba players what are they doing there you know this is something that is very unfortunate now some people may look at this and say ah um because of your skin color you should like this you know um you you're a coon you know you're against your own race no it is a matter of i believe in respect and honor when you start giving a race of people something that they do not deserve when you start giving a race of people oh you can get access to harvard and yale and all of that with lower scores than other races you are sending a message you are establishing that this race is dumb this race is mentally deficient that the only way for them to make it you know you have to decrease their standard these are these are subhuman beings these are humans humans that are not on the same level with others that is what you are saying when you start giving people those kinds of things you know what does a grammy mean if somebody wins a grammy because of the color of their skin or an oscar because of the color of their skin and not because of their merits you know it is not because of acting skill it's not because of the blocks of box office hits you know it's not because of sales it is not because of fan base it's not because of impact on the industry or whatever genre of um or work of life they are in it's not based on that it's just based on oh because of gender or because of skin color you d you disrespect those who are working hard in that field you know how can for example a phd from harvard or yale mean anything to me when i know that those who are my race are given access and all kinds of degrees based on race alone look at aoc aoc does not know the you know arms of government you know she doesn't know that yet she has a degree and she is a senator and celebrated as you know a leading senator that people are looking at as somebody who might be a future president why because of this affirmative action you know it, it puts a lot of dumb people in the forefront and then they these, these dumb people represent the whole race and this one thing that i, I have a problem with um, when you look at African Americans, for example, they put the Snoop Dogs, the Tupac, you know, they put all the Jay Z's. These are ignorant people. These are not responsible people in society. These are not. These are people that, you know, it is only because they are doing something right now, and this is what they proudly say over and over again that if it was not for the millions they are making true music, they'll be selling drugs on the streets. This is what they say in their music over and over again those are the people you want to put at the forefront to represent the race how do you think the whole race will be looked at for example if um you don't know any muslims and the and the muslims that you've heard of are terrorists what are you going to think of all muslims you're going to think they are, they are all terrorists but because that is what has been pushed f for you and that is what has been pushed especially when um they they, they bring the if they bring up the terrorists as oh these are the best of the race so these are the top ones which is what in the case of african americans they bring up talks and touts and hoodlums as the best and you know oh look at beyonce prostitutes you know beyonce at her age is there releasing songs you know in her in addition to her obsession with satanic imagery you know and there are a lot of people who are like oh illuminati this illuminati that's why you're talking about illuminati 
First of all, celebrities don't have power. You know, they are not um, at the top of the food chain. That is why they can be cancelled. They are controlled. They are just instruments that are used. So, celebrities as a whole, they, do, they are, as far as the food chain of power is concerned, celebrities are not at the top. So, if you are thinking about in the sense of Illuminati as well in the sense of who is more powerful, you know, it is not celebrities. You know, there are those who give who give the celebrities checks. They, they, those have more power. And of course, when it comes to the hierarchy of power, for example, you look at the World Economic Forum and their ability to shut down the world, put everybody in lockdown and commit all kinds of crimes and get away with it. Joe Biden just recently got COVID again. This is somebody that has been vaxxed three times, you know, got some booster shot and all of that. He got COVID, recovered, then got COVID again. You know, so he, he has, apparently, the reality of the matter is that the more vax you take, the more at risk you are of getting the vid. That is the reality. But, you know, the these people that are in power, the Klaus Schwab's, the World Economic Forum, the Bill Gates, you know, these people with the connections and, and with the power that control and select who is going to be the politician, the people who put the money behind the politician rolling, the people who lobby the politicians, the people who control all these organizations that masquerade as charity organizations that invade countries and steal wealth. Look at Russia, all the Russian oligarchs, all their investments in other countries have been seized. Who now owns it? The Klaus Schwabs, the other oligarchs of other countries. So that is what it, this Russian thing was all about. Because the Russian invasion of um, Ukraine, America did worse. America has done worse over the years. In Afghanistan, Libya, Syria, so many countries, and have caused serious massive devastation. But there was no kind of, not even a slap on the wrist of America. Don't do this. But look at all the things that have been done to Russia. And now every wealthy person in Russia, all their assets have been seized. All their assets that are outside Russia have been seized. And who did it go to? Did it go to the people? Did it go to feeding the poor? No. It went into the hands of, and it was orchestrated into the 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 other oligarchs in of other countries you know the, the klaus schwarz the bill gates and the the billionaires of other countries they are now the owners you know specifically those who are you know behind the world economic Forum, the, the globalists you know the un folks the um rockefeller foundation folks they now own it nobody asks questions about that but you see um all these things um happening you know it's unfortunate that people don't think people don't look at all this reality you know so um to back to beyonce and the illuminati stuff you know it is not about um the, the celebrities do not have power and when it comes to the illuminati itself as an organization there's actually a record that such an organization exists does the illuminati as the illuminati exists today clearly not you know understand that there are so many different organizations that are trying to get power there are so many secret societies there are so many cartels there are so many um mind um masterminds and you know um think tank groups of people who have the goal of acquiring as much power as as possible you know the world economic forum is clearly the one that is that we can see that is at least leading it is possible that there are other organizations that are actually bigger than or, or have more power you know because of course all these things have fewer people you know but it's possible that such things but you know those that is where you when you're looking at power it is not celebrities but when it comes to celebrities celebrities push a lot of illum uh, a lot of satanic imagery you know beyonce has pushed the buffering um, imagery in a lot of her music and in in her album arts you know in her recent album that she just released you know renaissance where she sat on a a, a, a horse you know and of course, you know what the Bible says about, you know, the pay horse, you know, the wise horse and all that, you know, which relates to the Antichrist. And these people does this, these people do it intentionally, you know. So why is she championing? There are people who say, ah, she doesn't believe in it or it's, or it's not real. No. Why does she choose to push at this? Why does somebody always push satanic imagery or occultic stuff? And celebrities, when people become celebrities, why do they at a certain level, why do they have to push it? She has a song called Church Girl where she just basically insults Christianity and is basically encouraging um, Christian women, you know, that they should be um, taught, they should be um, sluts and prostitutes, you know, and saying, I think the cross goes something like, drop it like a totty, drop it like a totty, you know. 
that is what she's promoting and that is what she's promoting to to little girls and subject um susceptible people and yeah saying that nobody can judge me but myself you know nobody can judge me but me you know there's a popular saying that you know it is um not necessarily it is but people of the world like to say nobody can judge me but me i mean nobody can judge me but god you know tupac has said that 50 cent has said that i think chris frost a lot of people say, have said such things you know nobody can judge me uh, but but god but now she, she intentionally put nobody can judge me but me you know her when it comes to god you know she no longer believes in god just like her husband you know uh, her husband does not believe in god and you know a lot of people in this sense did not believe in god and there's a lot of problem with that some people think that it's okay that you know if people don't believe in god let them live their life the problem is that they have a collection of ideologies and when they have power they they work things out from that position for example look at bill gates and cloud Schwabs. this is somebody due to his not believing in god he believes that the whole planet has to be orchestrated based on his understanding this is somebody you know who automatically feels that he knows everything that he's worthy to to understand the intricacies of the world that is why he can come up with ideas of oh the world is going to come to an end if he does not put a veil over the sun look it up Bugatti is basically in his in his in his quest of climate change whatever you know thinking about putting a a, 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 a layer that is going to veil and prevent you know the sun from hitting the earth what kind of nonsense is that you know all kinds of nonsense experiments because this is what um happens when people believe that there is no god they have to become god themselves or some somebody has or something has to become god you know so um that is um unfortunate and that that is what we see and i keep emphasizing the importance of christians taking over positions of authority and positions of power so that we can make an impact and undo and basically um save the planet you know you cannot be interested in saving the planet without believing in the creator of the planet and obeying the instructions of the creator of the planet and doing his will in how to save the planet you know and of course we have to come against the 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 globalists and this um it is and these crazy people and all they plan to do with the planet you know and every single thing they are affiliated with including wokeness which is a tool that they are using to um basically um wage war on society and destroy civilization modern civilization as we know it so that they can build their own new world order nonsense anyway let's get back into this trailer hello and welcome to the fifa 23 reveal trailer i'm derek ray and alongside me is stuart robson thanks derek well you can really feel the sense of anticipation as the players warm up for their big moment on the world stage and away we go it comes to sam kerr leading the chelsea attack Sends it in, Holland, a pure strike. Let's go pitch side where Alex Scott can tell us more. Well, you're seeing hyper motion too in action. More animations than ever before. And more realism every time you step onto the pitch. Well, he's gonna wear out the right stick playing like that. They say it's a game of two halves and you can really feel the intensity building here. Oh, he's mastered that one over the... You know, it's interesting how they start giving different players, you know, big, um, moves of other players. You know, it's like they now moves that are unique to Ronaldinho, you know, can now be done by a player that cannot even attempt that move in real life. You know, they just um, copy and paste. It's like available for everybody. You know, you just have to increase um, a player starts in perhaps um ball control or in speed and all, all all those other things and you know at the end of the day because it's like it is the same mocap you know the same series of mocap that is done that is captured you know that is used as the motions for all the characters so it takes away the uniqueness of the players even though the, the character is modeled to have the face of the player the movement is based on the mocap um athletes you know that's um during the making of the video game you know did the mocap and you know imitated perhaps their own style or style of setting actual players 
summer. Safe hands there. It's incredible calmness under pressure. Oh, a crunching challenge. Well, that's new. Now, this is the first, you know, females playing with males. This is part of the programming. You know, so it's like anything a, 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 a man can do, a woman can do also, you know, when it comes to physical activity, you know, you are mixing the leagues. So they have now put female soccer um, players that nobody knows inside FIFA to be playing with males. And of course, it's like when you talk about this, it's like, oh, you are, you are against women, you hate women, blah, 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 and all that foolishness. But that is their weapon. They bully people. Just like the LGBTQ folks, they are the biggest bullies in the world. Oh, you don't want this. They bully the person into cancellation, you know, bully the person off platforms. You know, that is their strategy to push their agenda, to bully people and get their way. And at the end of the day, they are transforming the world. And interestingly, not even into the shape of what the LGBTQ wants, but what the New World Order folks who really have the power have designed for them. So a lot of them are going along with it. For example, how many people who are transgender actually in the in the early 2000s or, you know, um, how many of them wanted to be in women's bathrooms? It was not an issue. It is not something that transgenders themselves wanted. But it came out and now all of them support it. It's like any new nonsense has to be supported. You know, or, let, or, or else it's like, oh, you are anti, oh, oh, you are transphobic, you are homophobic, or you are racist, or all of that. So they are going and buying into things that even certain, most of them will not agree with. You know, you, 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 you have them buying into all kinds of ideologies. So who is actually originating the ideologies? Where does it come from? And who decides what is not included and what is? But the people who are in this movement, in the LGBT community and all of that, they have unbeknownst to them turned into slaves of whatever it um, says that it's LGBT is not included just like pedophilia you know that they are now calling minor attracted persons they now attach themselves to it and it's like oh it's a minor attracted person you know let's not say pedophilia pedophilia is um, has negative connotations to it and then everybody in the gay community has to embrace it and smile and all of that it's just like the creator of um, Harry Potter who you know a feminist now is which is now um having all kinds of drama with them um, the trans people in the feminist movement so it's now a, an a, a, a fight of oh you have to accept this ideology too which cancels women because feminism now has now moved into canceling women because now men are women a man says that he's a woman, he's a woman. So what happens to a woman? You know, what makes a woman a woman? You know, this is what feminism has led to. So the origin the originally even the the early modern feminists did not expect this. This is not what they were fighting for. But now it has happened. So a lot of things are being added that they have no choice. They have created a culture of where they cancel people. So now they themselves will be cancelled if they do not embrace the, any new nonsense that they inherently may not agree with. So they have to put up a face and smile and, and give themselves an excuse of, oh, well, it's other people's life. How does it affect me? And at the end of the day, the whole face of society is changing into something else. So there's a big picture of what is um, going on. Absolutely brilliant technique. And it feels uh, like... They use this in the ad, the woman beating the men in, in soccer. Oh, boy. More goals coming in this one. Oh, Silky from Vinicius. Smart dribbling from Son, weaving into space. What were you thinking on a one World Cup? That's got everyone in a celebratory mood. We're into the final moments now. What else do they have up their sleeves? And it comes to Kerr! And right in stoppage time. Hold on, what's Killian up to here? Of course, the ad just makes women and players of African descent look better than everybody else. And these are the people that nobody knows in real life. These are, the celeb these, these are not even people that we, we can really call celebrities because there are so many other people who play soccer who are more popular than them and have a much larger fan base. But this is what they are doing. 
this propaganda. From the first frame to the dying embers, it's football everywhere. Welcome to the world game. Welcome to FIFA 23. Well, this was crap. You know, and, I, and I'm saying crap because of the propaganda. You know, of course, the graphics is okay. You know, the mechanics, the gameplay, and the control is okay. But you know, the, the propaganda of what the, that is in it. You know, what they are trying to promote. You know, disgusting. You know, make sure you check out our friend of VIP. And you know, it's important for us Christians. You know, we make the Christian video games. You know, we make video games that take over the world. You know, so. Anywhere anyone looks at, you know, the video game has a Christian message, a positive message. Because these guys, they want a situation where every video game has their propaganda message, their LGBTQ message, their New World Order message, their foolishness. You know, that is what they want. So, we must make sure we take over video games, movies, cartoons, music, all of entertainment, uh, you know, the Seven Mountains and beyond. Thank you. Make sure you check out our friend of VIP. God bless you. What you spread is what you get. Give your best, you'll get the best. Dress your best, and people see the best. I'm on my parole, parole, parole. 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 Parole with a suit, parole with the swag, parole with a camp, parole with the stash, parole with a hat, parole with the class, parole with a stash, parole with the fat. I'm on my parole, parole, parole. I'm on my parole, parole, parole. I'm on my parole, parole, parole. I'm on my parole, 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 parole. Say this prayer audibly if you've not given your heart to Jesus Christ. Dear God, I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came, died, and was raised from the dead to save me. I confess Him, Lord, over my life and ask you to give me your Holy Spirit to live within me. I receive your Spirit by faith and thank you for I am now born again in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer, congratulations. You're now a Christian. Go to Alfred.vip and click the salvation prayer link in the main menu to get resources that will help you with your work with God. God bless you.